If you're a man who loves tennis and you're looking for the right eyewear, stick around because I have some recommendations. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about our top picks for men's tennis sunglasses. I have a few frames here on the table and a few similarities between them. I hope that at the end of this video, the goal of this video is that I am able to highlight some frames that we really like, but also that you can get an idea as to why we pick these frames so that if one of these frames doesn't seem to suit you, that you have a better chance of picking something that works really well for you. One thing to note, grip is key. Obviously, you're moving around fast, you're stopping fast, you're turning fast, grip matters. Uh, in our opinion, the fact that these are all RXable also matters. That is to say that they can take prescription lenses. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you need prescription, all of these can accommodate prescription lenses. Another thing that's really good to look for, whether you're looking for prescription or non-prescription, is contrast. Contrast is very important because it's going to help to make the ball stand out. It's going to make your reaction time faster. It actually helps with depth perception cues. And so tracking the ball and reading the spin is going to be a lot easier with something that's contrast enhancing. Another feature that's really nice and one that all of these frames share is interchangeable functionality. That means that you can have multiple sets of lenses for different light conditions or even different sports and just have the one frame chassis. You don't have to have multiple sets of full sunglasses. That is definitely a feature that we like for tennis, especially because sometimes you're playing at night, sometimes you're playing indoors. That interchangeable functionality can definitely come in handy. I wanna let you know at the top of this that if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our seat better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. Because if you find even up to 45 days after you receive them that they're not gonna work, prescription or non, we will take care of you. Just reach out to us, we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time, so reach out to us, use this as a resource. Let's talk about these frames. Starting with Tafosi, we have the Vero. Uh, we like Tofosi. Tofosi is a really good uh, price point option. They make a good solid quality frame uh, at a pretty darn reasonable price. The reason that we like the Vero is again for the quality, but also the versatility in use. This is amazing for tennis, of course, but really good for all around sport use as well. Uh, it is a smaller version of a very popular frame that Tofosi also makes called the Veloce. Uh, I personally prefer the Vero more so, especially because it's available uh, in a wider range of prescriptions. It can accommodate a wider range of prescriptions and lens features. So this frame is made out of Grillamid TR90, which is a very durable, very lightweight frame material. You have fully adjustable temples, which is pretty unique. Uh, generally speaking, I tend to prefer the straight back temple design. Uh, where it's not hooking behind the ears, but it's using using proper pressure to keep it on your face. Talking about the grip on the temple and grip on the nose, it's actually a hydrophilic material, which is nice because it means that as you sweat, it actually grips a little bit better uh, as opposed to being more prone to sliding. The nose pads are not adjustable. They kind of look like they should be, but they are not. Uh, so do keep that in mind. I think that it's a pretty accommodating bridge design, so probably shouldn't be an issue. You do have venting on the lenses, which helps to minimize fogging. Do keep in mind, if you're getting these in prescription, then the vents won't actually be there. The SFW, the sizing on this frame is 130 millimeters, which lands you at a small to medium fit. Next up, we have the Oakley Half Jacket 2.0 XL, another frame that we absolutely love. This is also a smaller version of, there's another frame called the Flak 2.0 XL, which is very popular. Uh, one thing to note, as you heard me say this twice, why XL? What does XL mean? That does not mean extra large. If anything, and I'm not sure if this is actually what it means, but I'm pretty sure it definitely explains it, extended lens. And that is because the XL version of the Half Jacket 2.0 gives you a little more lens real estate. Goes down a little bit deeper, gives you a little more peripheral vision coverage. Uh, definitely better for the sport, I would argue. This frame is made out of Oakley's O-Matter frame material. Again, very lightweight, extremely durable. Uh, this frame can take a beating for sure. The grip material that is existent on the nose and on the temples is called unobtainium. That is Oakley's hydrophilic material. Again, as you sweat, as it gets wet, it actually grips 
better. Another thing that we love about Oakley is their tint technology. Their prism lens technology, also, by the way, available in prescription, is amazing. It helps to boost color. It helps to boost contrast, like I was saying. Uh, it helps to separate colors, so it's easier to identify one from another. The prism tech color that we recommend, there's not a specific one for tennis, but the one that we found works the best and we've gotten the best feedback about is the field. The prism field lens works really, really well for tennis. The SFW on this frame is 132 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, we have the very exciting and very new Nike Show X3. There is an X2 that is its predecessor that has been around forever and has always been a go-to for me for a very wide range of sport uses or activities. This is no different. This is a little more aggressive. So you have a good aggressive sport style here in the X3. You have a large lens, very, very big lens. So a ton of lens real estate. You actually also have some other sport features that will absolutely benefit you on the court, which is venting. There is venting built into the brow pad or the brow area of this frame that's going to help to encourage circulation that will minimize fogging. There's also grip abounding on this guy. A little bit of adjustability in the temples. You can, you can adjust them in or out just a bit to offer that much more customized comfort and grip. Uh, also in non-prescription, Nike Max Optics lens options are available. They have some sport specific options that are great. I want to call notice to the nose pad here. So they are employing in the X3, a nose style. It's like a floating saddle style nose bridge that they've been putting in a lot of their more sport centric frames. And it's, it's good. Overall, it is good. I do like it as a general rule, but it can be a little tough for certain bridge fits. If you find that you struggle with bridge fit on frames, then you might want to try this first uh, because it is not adjustable and it can be a little tough. The design is nice. It has venting. Uh, it is low profile, so it's going to grip without slipping. Uh, and this one actually is a little wider than the other versions of this nose pad that I've seen in other Nike frames. Uh, so I think it will be a little more accommodating, but definitely something to keep in the back of your mind. The SFW on this frame comes in at 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium to large fit. Next up, we have the Rudy Project ride on. I love this frame. Amazing option for, again, really just about all uses, but amazing for tennis, especially a very low profile frame. You don't have a ton of frame material. You do have a very very durable frame front that is made out of nylon and you have kind of mixed materials because the temple is made out of metal and you have fully adjustable temples and fully adjustable bridge here and is also replaceable, which is great if you like to hold on to your frames for a long time, if you treat them well enough, but there are certain things that are just going to break down from wear and tear, especially the contact points, the parts that are touching your face. Uh, this nose bridge is replaceable, so you can keep these frames for a very long time. And I love that adjustability. I think that that is fantastic uh, because you don't have to worry about bridge fit. You know that it's going to fit because you can adjust it to fit you ideally. Another thing that's really cool about this is the RX dock system. If you have a stronger prescription, there is a solution with this frame and it is really elegant and it really works. And I love it. There is also a smaller version of this called the Ride On Slim. So really good option for a lot. The SFW on this, the classic Ride On is 138 millimeters, which lands you at a large fit. And last but not least, we have the Oakley Radar EV Path. A lot of people really like that shield design, which means that there's one lens across the whole frame. This one's really nice because also it's vented, which I have been saying helps to minimize fogging. There is a ton of grip on this, a lot of grip in the temple, a really beefy nose pad here. And it actually is that saddle style bridge, uh, which if that's sounding familiar, it's because I was talking about the saddle style bridge on the X3. The saddle style bridge here uh, is not adjustable, but is so very flexible and it is amazingly comfortable. Uh, and I have found tends to grip way better than a non saddle bridge style especially when you consider all of the material on this nose pad. Uh, and so this is amazing for, again, a lot of sports, but really, really awesome for tennis. 
Uh, this is also available in all of those prism techs. And if you don't remember, the prism field is the one that we recommend for tennis. This frame is also made out of O matter. So very flexible, very durable, very lightweight, and it maintains its shape even after wearing them for a very long time. This is available in prescription. I mentioned that all of these are available in prescription. This one's a little bit of a special case because the prescription in this shield design is an embedded lens. So you have two eyes, you would have two lenses. How do you make one shield into two lenses? Well, you put cutouts. You kind of make the, sh the, the shield a frame. And so then you mount the lenses into the shield. And so you do have cutouts on the left and right side of that shield. Functionally, it works very well. Do note that not everyone loves how it looks, but in order to order that, you have to call us. So give us a call. Our opticians will help you with that and uh, make sure that you're set up right. The SFW on this frame is the largest at 140 millimeters, which lands you at a large fit. So that covers it. I hope that you have a much better idea or grasp on what you should be looking for for your own pair. Hopefully, even one of these frames sounds great to you. If so, do not forget about our See Better guarantee because it should give you a ton of peace of mind. We are here to help you get what works best for you. And so let us do that. Don't forget about our opticians. We'll help you get it right the first time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is exactly what you were looking for and helpful. If so, throw us a like because it helps us. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too. We have really good stuff and you can find us at SportRx.